Hi there! In this video, we'll teach you how you can whiteboard remotely. Here to explain everything, we understand how inconvenient remote work can be. But we've done everything in our power to make your next creative thinking or team problem session possible, even if the members are miles and miles apart. Stay with me to find out more about whiteboarding at a distance and how it can help your company or organization. When working remotely, there are plenty of different tools you can use to support you in many different areas, from project planning to collaborative document editing. But what can you use in a more freeform setting, such as during the process of creating designs, exploring new concepts, or group problem solving? The area where technology supports us least seems to be the most banal, at least at first glance. A sheet of paper or even a napkin we scribble on to explain new concepts on the fly. If you need to go digital with your flip chart or whiteboard and markers, this video is for you. All you need is a tablet. Any decent Android or Chrome device or iPad will do. For best results, choose the one with the highest resolution and built-in pencil input. When it comes to Google devices, we recommend a Chromebook, and for Apple, we recommend the iPad Pro. Okay, so now that you have your device ready, it's time to equip yourself with the software. Go to the App Store or Google Store and get Explain Everything. Get an account or start your free trial, and let's begin. If you'd like to start by learning the essential of digital whiteboarding, you might want to take a look at our Explain Everything Essential playlist, where we covered the basics of our software. You'll learn how to utilize whiteboarding skills to visualize anything you need, be it drawings and media, and then recording and sharing what you've created. In this video, we'll focus on how to get things off the ground when you need to deploy a whiteboard from a distance. There are two basic scenarios to consider. You can either whiteboard on your device and let others watch you on a conference call, that's the most basic scenario, or whiteboard together with others. The choice of how to engage with participants is yours. If you're going for a more instructional delivery, broadcasting the screen of your whiteboard will do just fine. But if you're in need of a more design thinking or group solving meeting, allowing others to actively and creative participate is a must. Okay, so let's assume you're preparing for an information transfer and you want to support information you'll be providing with visuals. As the term itself suggests, when broadcasting your whiteboard, you allow the others participating in a call to watch you whiteboarding in real time. Broadcast your whiteboard to any of the most popular existing conferencing solutions, such as Zoom, WebEx, Microsoft Teams, BlueJeans, and others. When using an iPad, you can start sharing by simply pressing the share button, but on Chrome or Android devices, you need to start the screen sharing process from within your conferencing solutions. To learn more about this scenario, you might want to watch our Better Online Meetings course, where we give more detailed instructions. That's basically it. They see what you see on your tablet. Simple yet genius. However, you need to remember that broadcasting your whiteboard is a one-man show. This means that solution is not all that great for problem solving, but perfectly decent if all you need to do is share your own perspective. Keep in mind that others will be allowed to see the tools you're using. This is because your entire tablet screen is transmitted and not just the contents of your whiteboard. You can share only your whiteboard instead, which brings me to the second scenario I'd like to cover. Ready? Let's do it. Your Explain Everything whiteboard allows you to open a cloud project where you can collaborate with others, granting them the same access and permissions you have. It's as easy as sharing the connection link. And done. This way, you can put any participant into their most creative mode to explore concepts and ideas together by drawing and sharing rich media. Keep in mind, however, that small groups of four to six people are optimal, as going over that number of participants might make things a little chaotic and hard to keep track of. If you'd like to limit the permissions of some participants, go to the properties and set them as viewers only. The session will remain accessible even if you disconnect, sitting there in the cloud. 
Group whiteboarding is a scenario we explored and illustrated in our Essentials course. Feel free to check it out for more information. Knowing about these two options, you can now explore concepts on a whiteboard, substituting pen and paper with digital without missing out on a hand input or you're having to change any of your favorite brainstorming ideas. Check out our blog to explore all of the other things you can do with a digital whiteboard that would not be possible on paper. And if you still have any questions, feel free to join us on our webinars where we whiteboard together with participants and, well, explain everything. Happy digital whiteboarding!